track um found out well remembered too that the gambler was this weekend and uh just leaving the bagel bazaar had my scrambled eggs and croissant scrambled eggs bacon on croissant breakfast now i'm headed to down the road e-town go see the gambler and uh, hang out with everybody. It's been a while. I don't know. I When was I last at the track? I had all kinds of engine problems, over overheating, blah, 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 blowing coolant, yada, yada, yada. So I'm um, still piecing together things to get the SR ready to head up to JP. Um, so I'm not really going to be drifting for quite a while so I'm still trying to recover from uh, the cost of the move which was a huge sort of shock I didn't think I was gonna lose my entire budget for my SR rebuild and uh, not have a car ready in time for season opener which was last weekend at Club Loose so I was also planning to be here at the, the gambler competing I was hoping to do all the gambler events this year just to do something different. I haven't competed in drifting since like 2014. So it's been like almost 10 years since I've done a drift comp. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun day and uh, a little cold, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Can't have uh, Jersey weather without, you know, 80 degree to 40 degree temperature swings but uh yeah should be fun dudes are coming down uh antonio nate steve everybody's gonna meet at the track uh it's about noon right now and uh everybody should be here around one or so but uh yeah we'll see what's up here we go good old raceway park Whee! Looks like they got some drones out there right now. Some people are driving, testing, probably something like that. Um, ironically, this is my first ever gambler. I don't think I've been down here for any of the gamblers yet, even just to hang out. So, yeah, should be should be cool. We'll see what's up. We'll see, it should be. I don't know. There's supposed to be a lot of good drivers here. So, uh, yeah. We'll see how it goes. It is. Like, endurance racing in general is something that I've, I've always been interested in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I don't know, it's just like, it's fun all around, you know? Like, just doing something else in general. Like, boys ready to take our first qualifying lap behind that repurposed track <laughs> tree. But yellows are eliminated, greens means go. Colette has the green light to take her first lap. We can hear her come down to the first turn and she enters right at that one cone. Nice job as she gets super wide into outer zone number one. Sort of missing getting in that zone initially and leaving it a bit early as she transitions, but she fully fills outer zone number two. So great job there. Pouring smoke coming down, just barely kissing outer zone number three and coming across with about medium head to that. 
Dale time for me, Mike. I was on number four. It is important. She misses out. Right at the end of the race, some points on the board. All right, and away we go. Ricky Hoffman taking his first qualifying run, entering right at that number one cone. I wonder if these drivers know they have the whole cone section to enter. He does kiss just the beginning of outer zone number one. You can tell him hidden limiter, but doesn't finish outer zone number one and kisses just the edge of outer zone two and three. Coming across that inner clip, does a great job there. Nice job on the wall. Just kidding. He's sitting on a 74 from his first run. A 74. My bad, guys. I got a lot of numbers in front of me. Oof. That's shaky as hell like that. That yeah, zoomed in. Good. All right. Yeah. If Hop spins this, everybody's got to go to the bar. Here he goes, entering well before that number one cone, going too wide. All right, let's go. Sitting at the very top. Right, but step. the lights are out, and away we go. Entering before that one cone of the three, two, one cones, getting nice and wide and smoky coming in that first cone. breaking a bit to make sure he fills it. He does miss outer zone number three, but he comes around super close to that inner clip as he gets out to and He does a pretty good job about getting into outer zone number four. This one's for the people, outer zone number five. G35 is going to take the win. Colin Crescent takes the win. It's With the lip mode 350Z. 370Z. Both drivers worked their way down the straight here at Raceway Park in the initiative well before our last initiation point. Daniel's getting nice and out there. He's running started. Put Kevin holding the pressure right where he needs to be, right behind Paul Lasky's S14. Kevin, a great transition, falling right back in to the space, right behind Chris as he rotates past that inside clip. Kevin giving him a little bit of room. Off the S14, a lot of patience, a lot of composure showed out of Kevin working his way through this course here. It's amazing to see the speed that Kevin had and then dialing it back to hold the proximity around Chris Kevin. Let's see if Kevin gets spicy, not too much here. Falls right in position, trying to get a little bite, holds it off the angle. Initiation point, Steve Misko putting it down into the outside zone one. Frito going for the pass. Trying to fall back in position now as Misko leans off outside one. Frito Holding trip, but not in a position. Falls into position now as both drivers work away into outside three. Uh, this is really important because Steve has a ton more power than Tim. So what he needs to do is stay close enough to be an active chase. And you can tell that Misko's trying to lay it down here. He's coming in super fast. He kind of missed out his own number four, but he's in. Not letting him get away here. Absolutely not. He said, I have my advantage. I want to stay on your door. That's just how he drives. Both drivers doing a phenomenal job in the FDF outer zone numbers. Oh, before, making Alex choke hard to the inside. Right, coming back out to the outside. Alex right behind him. Right behind the hatch of Brian Hopp. Both drivers are working their way into outside zone number three. Hopp starting to drive away from Alex. Breaking the angle on. I you think he found the rest of the gears. Throttle. I don't think they're a second. What's going on? Coming down here from two 
two to three, just pouring smoke. Yeager's doing a great job of hanging as close as he can to him, especially coming into outer zone number four. Dirk's looking like he's up. much but we uh we were here we saw conquered this thing's mad cute like bro but anyways we're out how are you What is that little thing? Isn't that cool? Check this out. I'm going to hit a button and it's just going to, oh, hey, how you doing? Right? And it's like, it's it's still recording even. Isn't that cool? Future is now. That's, that's what they, I, I'm trying to get there. I still feel old though. You know, Doing the old pack, the car. pack pack the car with everything you have. Yo, Bobby. You like what you see like share subscribe i think that's what they say uh and if you can comment uh we love to interact with our 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 fans our customers um you know it's pouring outside um but uh yeah hit the like button hit the share subscribe get it to your friends let's get this stuff around